So I think I found a good one here. It's uh, taller than it is uh, round and always handy to have your clippers along to cut them off the vine. Nice big stem will look good on the porch. Nice and smooth. And uh, I have found out that they do ripen as you keep them at your uh, house, but would be good to get all this mud off. Ah, you know, here's a really nice smooth pumpkin that I like. It's got a few little defects on it, so when I place my pattern, I might place my pattern so that those parts get cut off or move it over a little bit so that they're they're not on it but it's such a pretty pumpkin I will also check to make sure there's no soft spots the bottom looks really good um, I don't worry too much about whether the pumpkin sits flat or not because later on if it's a really nice pumpkin but it doesn't have a bottom that's flat, I just use a saw or a big serrated knife and cut the bottom flush so that my pumpkin can stand up straight. Typically I call this the back side of the pumpkin. It usually doesn't look very appealing. Sometimes though in this case it's very nice and flat so a pattern would fit in there very very well or Let's say Let's say you got a pumpkin like this now this side is real nice for a for a, a, a pattern But what if you were doing your own pattern and it was called like Scarface or something that was pretty ugly. Carve it on the backside and then use these defects as part of your uh, scary pumpkin.